This is gonna let you have the new look and feel, the new management, the new flexibility. Let's talk about what's new in 23.6. Welcome everybody to this short video about Ancentral 23.6. I'm Marc Andre, manager of the Head Nerds. I'm in my office, as you can see, doing this from home. I wanna do a short video to walk you guys through a few things. The main thing is gonna be what's new, obviously. Let's talk about what's new in 23.6. And in the second half, we'll talk about what's coming in 23.7, 23.8, and beyond. So starting with what's new. On the Mac side of the house, a lot of partners have asked us to do more on Mac. There's going to be a few items. The first one is that we have added the ability to do remote command line. So if you have a Mac device deployed with an agent and take control deploy, you will have the ability to do command line interaction directly from and central within the UI. So to use that feature, if you're on that release already, you would simply go to and central within the device, go to tools, then the remote shell tab, and you launch that. That is update in that release is something that's very near and dear to me. It's Automation Manager 2.91. It's got a couple of little updates in it. One is that the Automation Manager is now OCSP compliant. And we're also fixing how the logs rotate for the designer to help you guys troubleshoot with us and to improve performance for the UI. So stay tuned, there's gonna be more coming but this is where we're adding a lot of little things as we go. The next couple of things are in preview. So if you want to use them, you will need to send an email to ncpreview at n-able.com once you're on 23.6. The first one is we're doing a limited preview on Sentinel-1, the new EDR integration. So if you want to join that again, just send that email to ncpreview. This is going to let you have the new look and feel, the new management, the new flexibility in the integration of EDR. You guys have told us loud and clear what you wanted from that integration, so we've rebuilt it this year. We are also going to be adding the integration for Enable Cloud Commander, which is going to be launching in limited preview as well. It's going to let you do Azure Resource Management, and Microsoft 365, and Intune Resource Management as their features roll out. So same thing, send that email if you want to join that preview as you get on 23.6. The next feature, only going to be for hosted partners for now. This is going to be the next version of our Apple device management, which is going to integrate with Apple Business Manager and let you push profiles to devices directly and do a lot more, a lot more easily with Apple device management. The on-premise version will come in the next two releases, but in central hosted, we'll have that behind the feature flag. If you want to join that preview, you will simply need to send that email out. Also, we're doing some backend improvements or a few bug fixes and little things. So if you want to read those, you can go through release notes. It's all there for you. And we're also improving the admin console for Ncentral. So if you're on-premise, you would you're use the NAC or Enable Admin Console. We're slowly migrating things over the main UI. So as we're doing this, there's going to be a few, a few things changing in that release as well as we go through. A quick reminder, as we finish a new stuff, we are going to be soon deprecating TLS 1.0 and 1.1, which is going to cause agents on Windows XP and 2003 server to stop working, as well as agents that are pre-12.1 and then central. So please make sure that you do update, you do update those 12.1 agents. And if you have agents on XP and 2003 server, in a recent future release, we will be deprecating that support. So please stay tuned for that. All right, now let's talk about what's coming soon. I'm told that I need to remind everyone that this is a tentative list, things can change, and that might affect release dates and so on. All right, this is done, let's talk about it. The first one is Alex. The Alex preview has been ongoing for a few months this year. We have a ton of partners on it. The feedback is super positive, people love it. We are adding more and more as we go along. 23.7 is scheduled to include ability to schedule reports. So this is gonna be letting you schedule an email report automatically. And also we are looking at adding monitoring metrics in the coming weeks. So this is gonna be something that if you're on the preview, you're gonna start seeing new dashboards show up with monitoring data, business metrics, and things like that. That's why it's coming out. And when you get to 23.7, tentatively, you'll have the option to schedule as well. Super nice. And then other than that, we are also working on our API refresh. So you're gonna have the ability to use new REST APIs. I think this is the feature that this year I have been asked the most about. So I'm finally happy that to say that this is coming out in Q4 in preview. We're gonna have the highly requested run script API as well as the migration of our SOAP APIs to REST. And then through next year, we're gonna be adding more for you guys. So this is gonna be super exciting. Stay tuned, ask us questions, come see us if you have any questions on this. Like I said, we're improving our EDR integration. We are adding more Apple management. It's gonna let you do a zero touch deployment and things like that. Super easy for that in Q4 as well. So as you can see, this is one of the most ex exciting quarters for our Central partners. We've done a lot this year. If you're on premise, please start thinking about scheduling upgrades. A lot of partners tend to hold back quite a bit. 
we've seen a lot more uptake this year on those upgrades because we have had more and more features. We are very excited to see that. If you have any questions, if you need anything from us, please reach out to support your partner success manager, the nerds, come to the Institute, whatever you want to do, come to us to ask questions and we'll be there to help. In the description below, I'll include a few links to our upcoming boot camps, office hours, Q&A calls, whatever you need from us, the nerds, we're here to help. So thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one.